Hello guys, I am Sudarshan. I am third year MBBS student at VDGM Silatur and today's topic is bioavailability. So they will ask you the questions like definition and factors affecting bioavailability. So this is the most important topic factors affecting. First of all, in definition. Uh, in this uh, video, I have covered all these topics and I will also give you tricks to remember these topics very easily. So stay tuned till the last. First of all, definition. The fraction of administered dose of drug that reaches systemic circulation in an unchanged form. This is called as bioavailability. Bioavailability of drug injected intravenously is 100%. It means what? The intravenous route of drug administration has 100% bioavailability. It is lower after oral ingestion because the drug may incompletely absorbed or absorbed drug may undergo first pass metabolism in intestinal wall or liver next point is factors affecting the trick to remember this uh, factors affecting is gdp of ear hepatic diseases so g for gastrointestinal diseases d for drugs that is presence of other drugs p for physico chemical properties of drug uh, f for presence of uh, food next f for first pass metabolism e for e e for enterohepatic cycling a for uh, si uh, area of absorption and uh, r for root of drug administration and hepatic diseases okay so we will go one by one first of all g for gastrointestinal diseases Example of this is in gastroenteritis, there is increased peristalsis, which decreases absorption of drug, which leads to decreased bioavailability. In uh, congestive cardiac failure, the GI mucosal edema is there, that is gastrointestinal mucosal edema, which leads to decreased absorption of drug. In hydria, there is decreased absorption of ion. Next is D for drugs, that is presence of other drugs. Example is ascorbic acid increases the absorption of oral ion and antacids decreases the absorption of tetracycline. So it works in that manner. Then P for physicochemical properties of drug. In this, there are uh, four physicochemical properties absorption, disintegration time, dissolution time, and smaller size. Um, it means size of drug. Then in absorption, the liquid drugs, uh, absorption of liquid drug is more than the solid. Lipid soluble is more than the water soluble drugs. Disintegration time and dissolution time are inversely proportional to the bioavailability. It means what? If disintegration time and dissolution time is more, then the bioavailability must be less. The absorption of smaller size drug is greater than the larger size drugs. Next point, next uh, factor is, let me adjust this first, okay, okay, next factor is F for food, that is presence of food, example, uh, presence of food decreases absorption of rifampicin and milk decreases absorption of tetracyclines, so next F for first pass metabolism, this will be uh, asked as a uh, separate question short answer question in your exams as first pass metabolism so this is very important listen carefully the definition of first pass metabolism is when the drugs are administered orally the drugs has to pass via gut wall portal vein liver and systemic circulation during this passage the certain drugs get metabolized and removed or inactivated before they reach the systemic circulation this process is called as first pass metabolism. So the net result is decreased bioavailability of drug and diminished therapeutic response. Examples of this is lignocaine and isoprenaline. Drugs that undergo first pass metabolism are administered parenterally. Few examples of the drugs which undergo first pass metabolism are morphine, imipramine, diazepam, ethanol, cimetidine, and lignocaine next e for enterohepatic cycling in this it increases bioavailability and duration of action of drug 
example is morphine then a for area of absorption it is directly proportional to the drug absorption it means what if the area of absorption is more there is increased drug absorption so in intestine the drug absorption is more than in the stomach then r for route of drug administration in this intravenous route bypasses the first pass metabolism and directly enters the circulation some drugs are not absorbed through the git hence they are given parenterally example is gentamicin insulin is given parenterally because it is degraded in the git on oral administration next factor is hepatic diseases in hepatic diseases there is decreased drug metabolism which leads to increased bioavailability of the drugs example is propranolol well, last uh, last factor which i didn't mention in the trick is ph and ionization the strongly acidic like heparin and strongly basic like amino glycosides drugs remain ionized at all ph and hence they are poorly absorbed so the bioavailability bioavailability of uh, strongly acidic and strongly basic drug is low than the weakly acidic and weakly basic drugs thank you for watching if you like this video do subscribe to my channel